Now we're going to learn how to set this up in detail step by step. So we're going to be using the new Manny up here. So go ahead and drag him into the scene. And we need to add, we're going to need some of the assets from the starter content. So if you don't have the starter content in your project, you can add it by going to the content browser, click on add, go all the way to the top here where it says add feature or content pack. And then over here, select content and you'll see starter content right there. Make sure that's selected and then add to project. And now if we look down here in our content browser, I can see that the starter content is right here. We're going to be needing the particles here. We're going to be using the explosion. We're going to be using uh, the fire as well. So make sure you've loaded up your starter content and we'll move on from there. The first thing we want to do is open up our Manny character. Then we want to go over to the animation tab over here in the preview tab. If you've got Quinn here by default, you can change this to Manny if you'd like. So now we've got Manny as our, as our character. Now in our animation tab, you want to use the MM walk in place animation, open that up. Now I've already done this, so it's already opened up to what's called MM walking underscore animation notifies, which is what I saved it as because I don't want to change the original one. So open it up and then go to file, save as, and then change the name. I changed mine to MM underscore walking underscore anim notifies. And I'll just cancel out of that. That way we have a brand new animation that we're working with. You can see here that there's already an anim notify track where the left foot, the right foot, the left foot where it's stepping. We could delete that out, but let's go ahead and leave it, leave it like that for now. And what we want to do is add a brand new notify. So let's go to the beginning of the animation and then up here where under, under where it says notify track, we want to add a notify track and this will give us number two. We could rename that, but let's just keep it at two for now. So right about the time where he's going to step, let's go ahead and add an explosion by his left foot when he steps down. Let's move back a little bit. So to do that, make sure you're in the number two animation track and then right click Go to add notify and then over here we want to select play particle effect go ahead and select that and then we'll get a little asset right here that says play particle effect and we can move this around to where the explosion will happen anywhere anywhere we want let's just go put it right on the footstep select that and then we go up here by where it says the preview scene and we want to go to the details tab and right under here it'll say particle system and we want to select from our starter content starter content that we imported we want to go down and select the explosion so go ahead and select that and now Every time we go by that, it's going to explode. Pretty cool, huh? Boom. And I've got my animation set down here to repeat. You could have it just stop or you can have it repeat. I always like it on repeat when I'm working with something like this. So go ahead and, and click play. And we can see that every time it goes by the notify, we have a nice explosion. Pretty neat. Now let's add something else. We need to add a sound effect to go along with that explosion. So let's go up here to notifies again. Actually, let's go under the number two so we can insert a notify track. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure we're in the number three track, right click, add notify, and then we want to play a sound. 
So select play sound and it's going to tell us right there, play sound. And we're still in the details panel. So we want to go here, go up to sound and under search assets, type EX explosion and choose either one or two. I'm going to select two. And now let's go ahead and back our animation up and go ahead and play it. Boom. Just go ahead and save our animation here. And if you get this error, it seems to be a bug right now. It'll probably be fixed soon. Just ignore that for now. And you can see that our animation, sound, and the explosion is playing along with the animation now. So now that you show that to your producer, right? And he goes, oh, that looks really good. But the sound is a little bit too loud. Can you lower that for me? So let's go ahead and go to the explosion sound and up here where it says volume multiplier let's just go ahead and bring that down to 0.25 and there we go so you can adjust the volume to how however you want all right so now you show that to your your producer and your producer says oh i kind of changed my mind i don't want that explosion right on his foot i want that explosion right on his head right on manny's head we need to have that we need to move that explosion so how are we going to do that here well we need to go up and we need to find manny's head bone and we need to create a socket for it actually first let me do this let me delete this because i've already done this delete this socket okay so we find the head bone and we can easily move the explosion to Manny's head bone. So let's go back to our timeline and go under the actual explosion. And if we go down here, it'll say socket name or bone name. And we just start typing head and we'll see there's the head bone. So go ahead and select that right there. Now we can't you shouldn't move it because if you do, you're going to, you're going to mess with Manny's head. See, you don't want to do that. So just select that head bone from here and now go ahead and play. And now the explosion is happening right on Manny's head. Pretty cool, right? But now your producer says, well, I, I think that looks cool, but I changed my mind. I want, I want that explosion to be behind Manny. So it looks like he's walking away from an explosion. Well, now what do we do? Because we can't really move his head bone or you saw what happened before. So what we're going to do is go over here. See, I still have my filter of head. I'm going to select the head bone and we're going to add a, a head socket to it. So right click and go down to where it says add socket and it'll name it head socket which is fine for now you could change that to whatever you want you could put it to be um, explosion or whatever you want we'll just we'll just keep it head socket for now now we go back down to our explosion make sure we select it and now instead of the head let's go ahead and delete that start typing head again or whatever the name of your socket is and choose the socket this time and go up to our locator our gizmo here make sure you're on move and then we're going to go ahead and move this the head socket back behind manny maybe a little bit a little bit lower okay now go ahead and hit play how about that check that out isn't that cool let me hit escape so I get rid of the locator. And there we go. So you can add any, any type of thing here, any type of sound effect or particle effect or even Niagara effects with this process you just right click and there's a notify for 
uh, Niagara, particle effects, clothing sims, all kinds of cool stuff. Then we just make sure that we save, save all, save the animation asset itself, and let's go check it out in the scene here. Okay, so I search for notifies and it'll bring this up. So now we drag this into the scene and for, for some reason it, it, it throws Quinn in there. I don't know why, so you can switch that by just going over here and switching out the, the asset. But let's go ahead and, and go to simulate, make sure simulate is checked and not just regular gameplay and hit play there's our explosion let's hit stop so wherever we move our character let's rotate our character And there we go. Nice explosion. All included as part of your animation. So this, this can really help speed up your workflow, make it really nice because you can have, have all kinds of things, sound effects, visual effects, right along with your character. And that's how we do it.